Welcome back. So I have traced my sketch onto another piece of paper and um, I'm going to show a little bit about media application for these using three of the different color media that I have available to me that you might have available to you. Um, one of those is crayons. So if you've got crayons, I'm gonna show you how to finish it with crayons. I'm also gonna use the white crayon with the watercolor. And then I've got just a standard watercolor set. It's eight colors. And then I have got markers. Now this is sort of a big fancy set of markers that I bought to test out um, on Amazon. I would not recommend markers unless you have a big selection of choices um, with like pastels and everything that you can use for your light values. Um, if you just have like a standard 10 pack of Crayolas or whatever, you could use them like we did with our background for our copper tooling. If you also have colored pencil that you could use for making light and dark values. Um, Otherwise, I would stick to something else, even if something else is just pencil or pen. I am not going to include in my demonstrations um, just shading this with pencil or pen. You can do that if that's all you have. That's totally fine. But you've done that before, so you don't need to see it again. Um, so if you're using one of those, I don't have a separate demo for you. But of course, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Um, but I am in going to show you how to use these three color media, crayon, watercolor, markers. Okay, to start, I'm just going around and erasing my pencil lines as much as I can. I don't want those to show through. I don't want them to smear with the crayons or the markers or the watercolor. Um, they don't erase very well once they've got other media on top of them. I'm gonna, then I'm gonna do my white highlights. This is for the watercolor part. You only need to do highlights with white crayon if you have watercolor that you're gonna be using. The crayon resists the watercolor paint and those little highlights will stay white. So I don't need to worry about painting around them. I can just paint right over them. Okay, I'm gonna start with the crayon one first. I'm using, doing the apple with crayon. I'm starting with my lightest color. We're gonna layer colors light to dark. So for this first step, we're just doing the lightest color on everything. My apple, the lightest color is yellow. Sort of a light yellow, so I'm not pressing very hard. Refer to your source image always. Plug in your phone or whatever and turn off the power saver on your phone while you're working so that you can refer to your source image constantly so that it looks like it looked in life and not like you seem to remember it looking. For the marker, I'm going to do the same thing. My light, lightest color first. I thought that this color was like a grayish sort of color when I tested it out, but that was just the table showing through the paper. It's actually peach, so I fixed it. I layered green over it. Anyway, marker is the same, just do my lightest color in the areas that have this light color. I'll go back and fix that later. It's not supposed to be peach. It's supposed to be green, like the wall. I'm putting a little bit of water in each pan to prepare the colors so that I can use them because these are watercolor cakes. And then I just use the lid for mixing colors. I'm gonna do the vase with watercolor. Always test out your colors on 
your sketch before you put them on your final or on a scrap piece of paper if you're sketching and painting on the same piece. When I'm doing clear glass, I am showing the color that I see through the glass. And in this case, with the exception of the white highlights that I already made with crayon, I see the lightest color is the color of the wall behind it. And that wall is sort of a light, dull green. So I'm mixing green with a little bit of orange to dull it down and a whole bunch of water to make it more transparent. In acrylic, we mix white with our colors to get a tint. But with watercolor, we don't mix in white. The paper is our white. So if we want a color to be more pastel, we add water so that more of our paper shows through. And I'm just doing my lightest value all over the entire paper. If you're doing the whole thing with watercolor though, you gotta skip around because if you put a wet edge next to a wet edge, it's gonna bleed. Here it is with my first layer finished for all three media. I'm doing most of it with watercolor but then the cup with the red juice is in marker and the apple will be in crayon. So this is the first step. You can see I've got my lightest value for everything. And then the table has even my lightest values for my shadows. They're shadows, but they're very, very subtle. 